The idea of the future is always something that talks much more about today and our imaginations than a real future. As we remember 10 years ago, we never knew that smartphones would exist and it overran us basically with a lot of surprise. So I think to always rediscuss what our fantasy, imagination, fears of the future are is important and this has to be repeated over and over. So the concept is, or the manifesto is one of the most fundamental questions we have to ask each other all the time and that's why I think it's the basis for any design and approach that we do to for tomorrow. Manifestos are meant to be provocations, to render something much more extreme than what they might be in the end. So it's opening questions, it's starting a discourse, it's a platform for changing ideas. That's also what Zoe Ryan mentioned in her opening speech, and I think that's what the Biennale always is. It's a place to come together and discuss what our future might be. The proposal we uh, have here as an installation is called NAPGAP. Pink noise is the new white noise. So we are looking into a change of working and sleeping patterns, um, let's say leisure time and work time in a new constellation. If you think about the future, the clear rhythm we have of work time and relaxed time will change. We are different in a different way, mobile in a different way, changing um, our way where we work, the places, how we communicate, social media or digital technologies will change that. So the idea of sleep as a place to recover, to refresh, to actually process things will also be in a different rhythm, in a different um, intertwining situation with our work time. The space we designed is called NAPGAP. We have a pink noise sound insulation and it allows you to have power naps short term refreshment moments um, also within the design Biennale. The space itself is a pink space, referring to pink noise. It's a new way of thinking that sound works really well with our brain um, perception. So pink noise is something that's very close to natural sounds like rain or um, leaves in the wind and therefore helps us to fall asleep much faster and more quickly. Well, design is something that you have around with you. It's not just the shape of things, it's also the performance of objects, um, the relationship of your body to something else, to the space, to the environment, but also to objects that you have very close to your own body. You can't escape it. Um, you have to think it. If you don't think about it, it still is with you. Um, there are people who actually thought about designing it when they produce something. So um, to make these decision-making processes visible, and raise them onto a platform where things can be discussed um, is very interesting. Our piece is much more a sound piece than a visual piece, and that's why I think a place like the Biennale is perfect to bring people together and experience it and test it. There's a certain curiosity in my life, of course. You wake up and you discover something, you read a weird article, you wonder why people behave in a certain way, how certain decisions are made. I don't need motivation to be signed, it's actually already my kind of interest, my daily thinking process and we have a great team of uh, 20 people in Berlin. We work from small scale to urban environments. We work in the art world as much as in the design and in the architecture world. Discipline is not so much an issue for us. Um, it's more the environment where we propose or where we show our work that actually defines the discourse. <laughs>